Yeah, like, he's probably... Oh, and I need to be on virtual console. Hello, everyone. Welcome back to Phoenix Wrong. Phoenix Wrong. The Hi, real Phoenix. episode. Uh, on the virtual console board, Northern Lion's probably, like, 410-ish for uh, 16 star. Right, 64. Um, 11, 103 p.m. Temple, Temple. Emily Wolf hey. is also here. Hey. Oh, you, by the yeah. way, I guess I don't upload Screen that. share. Oh yeah, I should do that, shouldn't I? Yeah. Nah, oh, no, you shouldn't. I don't need to see the game. I'm psychic. We just I played mean, an entire game about being psychic. And it proved how good you were at being game, psychic. So like, I don't need to see it. I can't believe Maya and I were actually found guilty. Oh. Ah shit! Here we go again. Is it really just going to be butt? It, I it's just better. Think that's how this game runs. It used to be running pretty good. Oh, uh, that was a lot quicker. Yeah. I think it was only marginally quicker, but still. <laughs> That's quite I mean, a bit and, quicker. And the game ran fine for me when I played it, but... Yeah. Anyway. This trial need not be drawn out any longer. The defense has failed to counter the charge filed by the prosecution. This is much more tolerable. I don't even notice a difference, admittedly, but it's fine. It should be fine. <laughs> In accordance with the law, I invoke the Defense Culpability Act against the defense. Now then, this court finds the accused, Maya Faye, and the defense, Phoenix Wright. Guilty, Guilty. asshole. Ah. ah! It's just like the girl, like, ah. Ah. Or it's the fox, ah, from the Dude, in an anime 64. I was watching earlier today, there's, like, a girl, that, like, her magic is her, like, her voice. And s literally, she cast a spell by going, ah, across the room, and it was fantastic. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> Mr. Wright! I'll be. I saw the whole trial. What's gonna happen to my Miss Maya now? What's gonna happen to me? I'm worried about that, too. But right now... Every time it flashes back to the fucking trial. Ow, here we go. I roamed in more to report prosecutor's side machine. Yes. It's Dagger. <laughs> That's suspense. This Yo, Dagger. It's killing me. Yo. It bears oh. the fingerprints of Maya Faye on it. Oh, God. And it's, it's the been... audience. It's the fucking audience. They're all different sprites or something. That... I love that that's what it is. Each individual person in the audience is its own model, and that's a terrible way to design that, but anyway. They should have done the Earthbound thing with the, with the car painter fucking house. Yeah. Right now I need to focus on the next trial. The murder of Accolade sell it, right? At least the jury's still out in that one, so to speak. The two murders are most likely connected. If I can get to the bottom of Acolyte Zealot's murder, it might give me the ammunition I need to overturn Maya's guilty verdict. Let me help you investigate. I want to assist you any way I can. I appreciate it, Albie. But we're talking about a murder. Yeah, but it's going to be hard for a foreigner to investigate this on his own. Especially when I should be in prison right now, getting ready to get the needle. You have a point there. Hmm. I wish I knew what to do. Uh, who's doing her? Well, you are now. I think that you're just the obligatory female character person, I think. Yeah, okay. Isn't that? Your benevolence. You were wrong a second time. Get fuck. I'm Princess Rafa. Hmm? Uh, oh, it is you again. The dead lawyer walking, guilty of abetting a murderer under the Defense Culpability Act. I <sighs> see she hasn't lost any of her charm. Looper playing my demo without knowing he can press X. By the long face. <laughs> Are you glad I was at least found guilty under the DC Act? <laughs> I am in no mood to take joy in your suffering. For I was unable to defeat you, and had to leave the job to others. I read that too fast. I failed in my sacred duty as the royal priestess. Yeah, I guess that answers my question. No! Please stop. 
Have the audience. misunderstood the voice of the Mitama yet again. Th this... this cannot be... Might also be the smoke. Uh... Oof. I don't, I don't like that. I don't like the noise you just made. Ah. <laughs> Listen, uh, I'll be here all night making noises like that, so... Uh... Fuck, fuck. Maybe, maybe I won't go to bed. <laughs> <laughs> My client. <laughs> oh, I can't bear to see her looking so sad like this, though. I'm gonna get fucking arrested out of a movie theater with Pee Herman. Your benevolence. Your benevolence. Oh, bobbed head. I thought you had already begun your journey to the Twilight Realm. I'm not dead yet. I'm not dead yet. I still have an investigation to do for tomorrow's trial. What's this? D d do you mean to say y you have not given up yet? That's right. I'm going to prove my innocent tomorrow. But why? Why do you refuse to give up? I cannot fathom such obstinacy. Investigate all you want. I care not. You really don't mind? But aren't you worried that a lawyer backed into a corner by the DC Act might do something desperate, like forge evidence? What's this? If left unsupervised, I'd be free to do whatever I wanted, you know. <laughs> okay, now to see if she takes the bait. Yes, I see your point, Bobbed Head. You're under arrest. Go to jail. I'm executing you in the street. I know what happened yesterday. You perpetrated some sort of fraud or other misdeed while I was not watching. Huh? That explains why I misunderstood the voice of the High Priest's soul. Yes, of course. That is the only explanation. A song in slow-mo is funny. I was just trying to cheer her up. Now she thinks even less of me. I must not allow you to sully our sacred hall of justice with your misdeeds ever again. Therefore, today, I will be monitoring your every move once more. Why am I not arrested? Probably because, like, you know, they have to, like, uh, you know, see if you are going to get a harsher sentence or not, or whatever. A harsher sentence? You're going to be killed. <laughs> yeah. What do you they, mean harsher? They said that they'll, they'll either send you to, like, mountain. the Tickle Realm or to, like, the fucking, like, like the, the Stabby realm. realm. Yeah. But, like... <laughs> yeah, but, like, he described the Tickle Realm as the worst one. <laughs> or maybe he said they'd go to the Tickle Realm if Maya is guilty of this one. I don't, I don't even that. fucking like he was like the tickle realm is the worst one and I was like okay I guess that's that's I I, I kind of love it though because he's such so, he's so serious like you're going to hell but he's like you're going to the tickle realm <laughs> I will yeah. not fail to spot your misdeeds this time the moment I see anything out of the ordinary <clears throat> I will send you straight to prison and you boy do not throw your lot in with this foreign devil but your benevolence. It's okay, I'll be. You don't need to worry about me. Uh, please leave so we have less models. But first, I should probably lighten my load a bit. I'll be, would you mind holding on to some evidence for me I won't need? Of course, of course not. I'm always glad to get rid of your junk. You know, I need to lighten my load a bit. It's probably <laughs> what Pee Wee Herman said before entering the theater. <laughs> I need to drop the kids off. <laughs> oh god. Yeah, that's actually worse because of the other thing. <laughs> May the Holy Mother's blessings be upon you. Okay, I'll be. You say whatever you need to say. Now then. The scene of the crime is a logical place to start. If I recall correctly, the body was found at the Plaza of Devotion. <clears throat> Any ideas, Rafa? That boy has grown far too close to you. He will require re-education if he persists in befriending lawyers. Ask yourself if the word re-education used unironically has ever been good in the form of media ever. <laughs> has that ever been, like, used by the good? Oh, yes, it has. Wait, 
custom robo where the villains oh, are re-educated. Wait Wasn't that a such a good Bo ending? Bob Ted, am I the bad guy? Re-education. What exactly does that entail? First, he must meditate <clears throat> upon Lady Kira. Fuck well, Kira. For 48 hours in the prayer pose. How's that re-education? It sounds more like torture to me. You know, I think her birthday is canonically like yesterday, IRL. Like, I think she was born on Christmas. Mm. Bob Ted, you have an investigation to conduct, do you not? Get on with it. Yes, but... Why does she always have to be like this? What? Would you have preferred that tour guide boy tag along in <clears throat> Huh? Oh, uh, yeah. <sighs> it would appear I have read your mind most accurately. That smile of hers is downward scary. She, uh, was born. Uh, Christmas Eve. <clears throat> ah, Christmas Eve. Rafa? Yeah. That's neat. Well, it's the, it's the deduced birthday. There's actually no canon. They never established it, but people have deduced that's probably it. Uh, just because of some they, like There's some like random little like hints and shit that have led to it, but like there's no actual outright okay. statement of it. Okay. Uh, does this place celebrate Christmas? Um, yeah, I don't know. I, I don't really know. It would like, be really funny are. if they did. But it, it, on the wiki, it describes it as her deduced birthday. <laughs> so that implies that it isn't a ever actually expressly stated anywhere. Okay, but what's her dedue birthday? Um, she played. Are you kidding? She played Crimson Flower. <laughs> uh, no, she would play the one that loves the church. Oh, I guess so. She played Golden Deer. Man. The poor person well, actually, who died no, she, here. She'd play, she'd play, what, what's the red version where it's like, you, you, the red house where you stick with the church, Black Eagles, what's that route called? Oh, it's oh, something really... Like, Winter stupid. snow or something like that? Like si silent snow or something like that? Yeah. I don't know. We're like, why the fuck are you playing this route? <clears throat> it looks like the police already finished their investigation. I think someone would be killed here. A place devoted to prayer. Sadly, right. Aang, Aang got washed away by the infamous piss and shit river. <laughs> Sorry, can't forget about it. A body outline and flowers. Did someone leave them in memory of the deceased who died from the piss and shit river? <laughs> and there's something different about the prayer flex today. We're not allowed to drop that. As the high priest disciple, Acolyte Zelat was utterly devoted to his training. <clears throat> First the high priest, and now his devoted disciple. Maya Fey will pay for this. I was to keep trying to tell you, Maya has nothing to do with any of this. And you can prove this. How? What do you think I'm doing here? Gathering dirt and dust for the trial? <laughs> Gathering piss and shit for the trial? You and your smart mouth? This is precisely why you and your lowly ilk are so reviled. Yeah, this is a pretty vile place. What is this, Emma Sky? Hey, uh, Mr. Wright! Yeah. Heard you're guilty. I heard like a minute of like a millisecond of a Sansa's theme at the start of her theme. It was weird. <laughs> hey Emma. You know, she's like she's a lot more mommy now. I can't do the investigations voice. It's that detective from your country. <clears throat> yeah. It's the princess. I love what they do with Emma as a character. She's like the best. Yes, I love her. Yes. She should be on the You seem displeased that I am here. Ooh. Oh, no, 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 don't be silly. Uh, Mr. Wright, I'm, uh, I'm so sorry about what happened to Maya. It's not your fault, Emma. You were just doing your job. Eh, just, and I had just, if I had just done mine. Mr. Wright. That's no use crying over spilled milk. Would you mind telling me what you know about the murder? It's do or die in court tomorrow, and I mean that literally. Gladly. I'll help in any way I can. Remember, I have my <laughs> eyes on the both of you, so see to it that you commit no misdeeds. Of course not. You're talking to a professional here. Does she still eat snack -hoos? Yes. Yeah, there's the occasional snack -hoo. In, in Only in... when she gets really stressed out, though. Yeah, in the second case, she like like she talks to Apollo, and she's like, yeah, I totally grew out of that, but then in yeah, court yeah, she yeah. does it again. Yeah. It's only when she, like, is really in a bad spot. 
Let's see, how about starting with an overview of what happened? Sure. The victim is Pure Zalot. He was the High Priest's disciple. Did she have that in her armpit? Sure. Yeah, I want to smell. His body was discovered around noon today. Right after the rite wrapped up. And they cleaned up all the piss and shit. So during the High Priest's murder trial. That's right. Apparently, he had been here praying since the day before the rite even started. Talk about serious devotion. Yeah. It barely lasted a few minutes. That's what Pee Wee it's... Herman said. So... <laughs> <laughs> Fuck up. <laughs> this is a picture of Mr. Zillot's body. <laughs> <laughs> There's no context, too, because you didn't record Mysterium, did you? You know what, um, I can also just imagine all these people who are like, in that pose, doing that one fucking pose with their asses in the air. What, what's that called again? Uh, Working. Dogiza. Do yeah, yeah, If you're talking... Shit. Yeah, in terms of like, that bowing, that's Dogiza. Yeah. That dagger in his upper back looks like it would have been particularly painful. Hmm? Is that too, too on the back of his neck? It's peach shaped. Everyone started leaving when the praying <clears throat> was finally done. But the victim remained bent over in prayer. And when they went over to check on him. Oh shit, there's a knife in his neck. Oh, I didn't see that. They discovered he was dead, huh? He didn't groan or go like, ah. <laughs> well, no, we, no, are we talking was... about him or, or a PBR? <laughs> well, okay. <laughs> But, like, the idea is that this guy was in such, like, a fucking <laughs> devoted trance that, like, he just... Yeah, and the rest of them were in such a devoted trance that they didn't, like, fucking notice. Damn it. Like, he didn't really react to it, and they didn't really hear him, <laughs> but... Yes, the estimated time of death is May 9th, sometime between the start of the rite and the discovery of the High Priest's body. In other words, we believe the crime took place during the purification rite. And the murder weapon was the same ceremonial dagger that killed the High Priest. The prosecution believes Maya came down the stairs after killing the High Priest, and then stabbed Mr. Zalot with the same dagger. Circumstantial evidence does point to Maya, bud. What about the cause of death? He apparently died instantly from the dagger that was left thrust into his upper back. Idiot. It's pretty obvious. Here's the autopsy report. Cool. Estimated Rafa, you're time of fucking death? with the game. You say? How can you know such a thing? I want to know. Well, barbed head? Out with it! Oh, so the princess of the spirit medium kingdom's interested in forensic science? <laughs> I have no interest in science. No oh, interest is, is science. I have no interest is science, forensic or otherwise. Yeah, that's a... <clears throat> that's a typo. Wow, 0 out of 10 game. Nevertheless, I will someday be queen. As such, it would be wise to know what silly things the common folk believe in. Don't they put this shit into, like, Grammarly and just, like, grammar check it? I guess not. Uh, well, it... Even Google Docs hooks me up with that. <sighs> There's nothing silly about it. I'll have you know, even Prosecutor Sadmati holds the friend... <laughs> High ground. Does he? Hmm. Perhaps I should not underestimate the power of science. Still, I suppose it is nothing much compared to the div divination seance. I mean, that shit that's been wrong every single time, great. Okay. She really doesn't have an adorable bone in her body. Well, again, the divination seance is really fucking useful. It just can't be assumed at face value. <laughs> Emma, I think she's so... actually interested. Would you mind explaining it to her? I guess I have to now. Okay. There are many ways to estimate the time of death, but the most well-known method uses the change in body temperature. Interesting. Body temperature drops at a steady rate from the moment a person dies. That means we can tell how long someone's been dead by measuring their temperature. Hmm. I see, I see. That was quite enlightening. Bob's head! Present your forehead now! <laughs> okay. What? What? Why? 
Mm. Don't ask what outside. <laughs> you feel just a little over 95 degrees. They use Fahrenheit in fucking Korean? That's sure, right. why not? This is uh, still Japanifornia. Also, it's 95 is pretty... F feels low. It's yeah, you're in a cold yet. sweat. Of course I'm not. <laughs> it was but a jest. After all, you're still the dead lawyer walking. I failed to see the humor in any of those. Were there any witnesses? There's so many people here at the plaza, you think somebody would have seen something. You'd think so, wouldn't you? But we haven't found a single witness. How's that even possible? Because everyone was bent over, utterly devoted to prayer, naturally. <clears throat> oh, right. The back-shattering pose that nearly killed me. So you think someone would have noticed something? I thought so too, but with the monk's scarf he had on, no one could see the dagger in his upper back. Plus, everyone was so absorbed in prayer, they didn't see or hear anything. And they certainly didn't smell anything, yeesh! <laughs> I can't believe this. Well, they smelled this. everything, and that's the problem. <laughs> yeah. What you choose to believe is your choice, but the fact remains that there were no witnesses. However, there was one piece of irrefutable evidence. The dagger. Sadly, yes. Ah. Can we just stop using fingerprints on weapons? I swear, it like never amounts to anything useful. It was pretty fucking useful in uh, the uh, case two. Of the first game? Yeah. No, of this game. Yeah. This game? Could you tell me about the murder weapon? I don't even know. Probably just for but don't. The killer used the Warbad dagger, the legendary weapon of Lady Kira. <clears throat> it was discovered impaled in the victim's upper back. The accused's fingerprints were found on the dagger, were they not? Y yes they were. Fun. Do you think they dusted Pee Wee Herman's cock for fingerprints after he was pulled from the theater? With such irrefutable evidence, there was no questioning. <laughs> yeah, I'm sorry, that was... <laughs> Just... Well, sorry, I'm gonna say there was one that I didn't do earlier. Uh, yeah. And that was when they were saying, um, uh, they were talking about the purification rite and the ceremonial dagger. I was like, Pee Wee whipped, whipped out his ceremonial dagger. All right, that's such, a, that's such a stretch. All right, we're done. We're done. No more. Stop. No more. I'll tell one bad one just to get it over with, even though they were all fucking yeah, that's, terrible. That's why I had to end it with that one so that you wouldn't yeah. do it anymore. It was terrible. Yeah, okay, okay, okay. Okay, okay. we're all mature here. <laughs> we're not, but we'll try There's such stuff. irrefutable evidence that we're all mature. Alright. I already read yeah. Not so fast. What about a motive? I had no reason to kill Acolyte Zealot. What do the police think about this matter? Character swapping. Can't handle it. My buttons are reversed because it's like a 3DS controller. Ugh. I had no reason to kill Acolyte Zealot. So you say, but let us now hear what the police think about the matter. The police believe Maya is the Lady Kira figure has been battling the rebels, and since Mr. Zella was the disciple of the High Priest who turned out to be a rebel, he too was likely a rebel, and therefore met the same untimely demise as his teacher. Yeesh. By the way, yes, I hope you can hear is... my crunching in the microphone. A little bit. A little bit. Okay, I'll... That is how the police currently view this crime. That. There's no way that Maya is that lady... There's no way Maya is that lady Kira vigilante. I agree on a personal level, but the police are just going with what today's trial concluded. Ugh. I really blew it in court today. Do, 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 do. Nothing to explain. Maya really just needs blanket immunity to crimes. Um... Yeah... Yeah. Or she just needs to be convicted one of these times. Yeah, it's true. Just hey, kill her. Look at this. Congratulations on return to the legal world. I wanted to congratulate you sooner, but I never had the chance. Thanks, Emma. And congratulations to you, too, on becoming a forensic investigator. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> yeah, I'm not going to be losing my life tomorrow, so which one of us is the winner, Phoenix? <laughs> oh, I know. 
Let's celebrate by dusting your attorney's badge for fingerprints. Or how about we do a luminol test on it? I think I'll pass on both, oh. but thanks. Ooh, we used her favorite word. You know, that's the thing, is like, um, if, if, if Albright survives the last game, we might not be getting Emma in this game. Good. Okay. No, Fulbright wouldn't, like, he's, like, attached at the hip to, uh, our boy, uh, what's his face? Black Quill, Bro. yeah. As Black much Quill. as I like Fulbright. You wouldn't see him. Uh, Emma's also great, so. Maya's fingerprints are found on the dagger that was used in the murder. The police are, therefore, investigating her as the prime suspect. The evidence is irrefutable, with no room for argument. I really don't want to treat Maya as a suspect, but... Based on the evidence and police reports <clears throat> I've received so far, it's not looking good. Not good? More like, how could it get any worse? Based on the estimated time of death, we believe he was killed during the rite itself. It appears he was stabbed in the upper back with a dagger and died instantly. But there were so many people here, how could no one have noticed? I know. I can't believe it either. I guess they were just that focused on their prayers or something. So are those, like, reading glasses? I'm not sure. Maybe. She puts them on whenever she looks at stuff. Could you imagine Emma hey. with, like, actual, like, reading glasses? Mm. See, that to me... Because she is an investigator, those to me look like glasses that you'd wear when using a blacklight. But she just wears them to read shit, too, so I don't know. Maybe her I screen mean, she... is blacklit. I don't know. Yeah. This is the same, I think. Yeah. Yeah. You gonna investigate the piss and shit? It's like, I took a forensic science yeah, class. I guess you I do should. actually, You do actually wear glasses like that when you're using a blacklight, because... Or like a you know high quality black light because they can damage your eyes. Acolytes um, died bent over in prayer. There's no trace of blood in the ground though. The fact that there's a little bleeding could mean it was a single stab to a vital point, or that they sweeped it along with all the piss and shit that they got out of the way. Yeah, they cleaned it with the piss. Not that that would have been very difficult considering the piss position he was in. So these flowers are left here in memory of Acolyte Zealot? What are they called? They are known as Namanda, and they are given to express sorrow when a life is lost. Namanda, Namanda these nuts, Bobbed Head. It seems offering flowers in memory of the dead is a universal practice. That needs to be stopped. Phoenix just starts stomping on the flowers. Yeah. We get instantly executed. Universal seems pretty wide scale. Oh, we're just examining the piss and shit? Cool. Accolade Zell was killed in a prayer pose. With his head bent over like that. The last thing he saw must have been this rug. It is a prayer rug woven by devout monks. Yeah. May the Holy Mother's blessing be upon his departed soul. It's strange that there are no blood stains, though. We already explained why that happened. No blood stain hmm. curse of the moon. Perhaps it was so cold his blood froze, or perhaps it was absorbed by his vestment. Or it was washed away. It is pretty cold. Maybe the blood really did just freeze inside his body. Uh, not really. I mean, it what would, if the piss and shit river froze over? What is hot? What is hot? It takes a while. Like, you wouldn't, it wouldn't freeze that fast. We That's are in thing. fucking Siberia. That's actually, hot water if, freezes faster. Well, well, but also, here's the thing. If the blood froze, then the piss and shit would also have frozen, and it's not there. That's true. We don't see it, so we, we know it's not cold enough to freeze liquids. Or he took it away. What if that was evidence? What if he hid something inside the piss ice cube? When mom finds the shit cube. Have you guys seen that meme? Yeah. Okay. It's been That's ages since he presented stuff. evidence to me. Just kidding, it was like two seconds ago. Phoenix goes up to Edgeworth, he's like, Hey Edgeworth, take a look at this flower. Hmm, I don't see what's wrong with it. Oh, I just thought it was nice. Oh. But it's meant to express sorrow. <laughs> what does that mean? Well, now you've got me saddled with unnecessary feelings, right? No, right, well, I think we've examined all there is to see here. I think I've clicked too many buttons by accident that I wasn't meaning to click. I don't know where you go. I guess the inner sanctum. Just gotta find. I know. I should know this. Person to talk to. Yep. 
Ah, oh, my ears. Oh, nope. no. Maybe not. Oh, oh, God, the inner sanctum runs like ass. Well, it's a good thing we don't have to stay here. <laughs> Why would I click on that? Ah, uh, fuck. Wait, which one's the speed up key? I don't have one. Shit, I forgot this is fucking Citra. I think it's the flags. <laughs> I Why they aren't sure. even moving? Yeah, they are. Oh, they are. The, the previous map. If had, I examine like, and make rape would disappear. I've it already might be searched well. here, but it never hurts to take another look around. Uh, that improved it. A little. Get me out of here, please. Uh, frame lands. There you go. May 11th, High Priest's house. Oh, it's the spike seat. Hello, sorry to bother you again. Killed your husband. What's up? Ross, do you want to keep doing this one? You were doing this one. Oh. I think. It's you. Barbed head? You are not contemplating casting suspicion upon Lady Belieb, are you? She lost her beloved husband, now Acolyte Zealot, who was like a son to her. Of course I'm not. But since she was close to both victims, I wanted to hear what she has to say. Very well. And then there's the fact that Lady Kira didn't attack Mrs. Inmi. That probably means she isn't a rebel. Is this about... Poor Perret. Well, I'm sorry, but I don't think I can talk about that right now. But what about Maya? She's innocent. Maya, I heard she was found guilty. First my dear husband, and now Perret. Mrs. Inmi, you don't really believe that Maya's the killer, do you? I... I don't know. But that was the verdict. So what else can I believe? What am I to do? The verdict was already reached in your husband's case. But the truth of the matter is yet to be found. How can you be so sure? Because I believe that Maya is innocent. That is all I have right now. My faith in her. So please, help me understand what happened. So you're... You're defending her based solely on faith. Even though you'll be punished for abetting the accused. That's right. Uh, alright then. Your faith has moved me. I will tell you what I can. Are you sure about this, Lady Belieb? My lovely wife is also a devout follower of Koranism. As such, she is not one to make light of another's faith. But if I find that you have lied about your faith in Maya Fey's innocence, I shall curse your entire family and all your disciples for the next eight generations. Hey, leave Athena and Apollo alone, buddy. Yo, did you see I how love... fast she's... <laughs> I love how it just cuts down. Teleporting hands over here. <clears throat> Fucking wave dash the poster. How did Acolyte Zell... cheating. ...end up living here as your husband's disciple? About two years ago, when my husband was a spiritual retreat in the mountains, he came across parade collapse on the ground. That's when he brought him here. You always wanted to help those in need, weren't you, dear? And he'd been living here ever since? <laughs> About two years ago? That's around the same time I arrived in Korain. Yes, he was born in a poor village and had nowhere to call home. Imagine if this was running 13 frames per second, and that's when she chose to kiss him. And she's oh, yeah. like... Yeah. My husband felt pity for the boy, so we took him in as his disciple. But not only as his disciple, he was like a member of our family, too. I see. And this is where Acolyte Zealot lived. There might be something I could learn about him lying around here. That's suspicious. Someone else, something else got thrown out. 
Bobbed head, it appears you are quite fond of rummaging through the garbage. Yeah, I just thought there might be something other, some other important piece of evidence in here. What can I say? Corrine has a pretty big attachment to the garbage. Oh, is that right? Go to prison. Look, I'm not doing this for fun. Really. Doesn't look like there's anything else of interest in there. Photo of the high priest, his wife, Acolyte Zealot, and Maya. Since Maya's in it, it must have been taken the day before the right. I should ask Miss In Me about it. Look at that smile. Yeah. To think that this would be their final family photo. That's no good, Maya. Bay has some nerve. I mean, here she is, posing with the two men whom she would soon kill. I beg to differ. I say this photo is proof she didn't kill them. <sighs> that smile of hers does not fool me. I sense a deep and abiding malice behind it. I'll prove Maya's smile is the real deal. That girl can't fake smile. Wait. There we go. Pictures of the Queen and her husband, the Justice Minister of Karain. Yes, my mother and my father. What do you think? Do they not possess an awe-inspiring air? Oh, um, terrifying is more the word I would use. Well... And their air is also an asshole. What? What are you talking about? The hey! Yeah, they're very awe-inspiring. Oh, mm. oh, inspiring. Ooh, nice. Got him. Oh. High quality burn. Uh, that looks to be it. Maybe. Yeah. You could show but... the thing to her though, so you can continue after that, maybe. Yes. Oops. Sam with the drum again. <clears throat> Such insolence. Oh god, I clicked on the Ooh, You picked one. the worst one. Oh. Oof. Hey there, can I ask you about this photo? It was taken during the Feast of Blessings, the day before the rite was held. The Feast of Blessings? Would you mind telling me a little bit more about it? No. Okay. <laughs> These buttons, I swear. This photo was taken during the Feast of Blessings. The Feast of Blessings? Would you mind telling me a little bit more about it? Okay. Yes, it is a forbidden to eat during the days of the rite. So the day before it's performed. We enjoy dishes full of gin... gin gingil... Gingil? Gingil. Gingil. I think it's, gingil. Uh, I think it's a fake word. Uh, well, I, I'm saying gingil because it's like... I think of it as gingil. Because of... Uh, well, I think of it like... Final Fantasy. <laughs> I think of it like ginger. It's well, very similar yeah. to, like, a, the real Ginger. herb. Yeah. An herb known to strengthen the body and mind. You love the gingel-based dishes I make, didn't you, dear? Yo, gingel-based. Gingel. Or you can go three days without sleeping after eating some. Yes, but many foreigners don't care for it because of its strong smell. Our customs say that these dishes can only be eaten the day before the purification rite. And only between noon and 3 p.m. That's, That's specific. pretty specific. <laughs> Is it because the smell is too strong? A very good guess indeed. 
is to ensure the smell is gone by the time Lady Kira is welcomed the next day. Wow, is it really that strong? Come to think of it, the evening before the murder. Overwhelming odor was all over town. It was like a cross between garlic and mint. Ew. These super taster sniffers over here would have been like oh, hell purgatory. Yeah. 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 Dude, I, I can't even walk upstairs when my mom is making dinner half the time without it being like Ugh. What if she's well, like roasting onions? It's like even if it's it's something oh, that yeah. theoretically smells good, it's just a strong smell and it's just like I can't I, I can't well, breathe. Well see, my parents like are the kind of like white people that don't put seasoning and shit, so the smells usually aren't strong. After the feast you just cook a fucking chicken breast. The smell of a cooking chicken breast fucks me. Oh, well, I don't like cook a chicken breast, though. Mm, I like a lot of cooking smells, so. I mean, I do too, um, but I there are times when near it's a too pig strong. farm, and if the wind's down, then you can just, you know, get a nice ripe smell of pig ass. It's, uh, it's, it's good stuff. You can smell well, burnt rubber and oil because there's a fucking highway not too far off. But... Yeah, I smell that too. But, but like, when Allie makes curry, that's a smell that is strong, and also, like, it's, but, and, and I really like it, but it, it's not so strong, or rather, it is extremely strong, but I just like it enough that it's, like, this is sensory overload, but I don't care. Yeah. Even if something smells good for me, if it's too strong a smell, it makes it hard to breathe, which Well, is yeah, I mean, yeah, that, that's a problem when that happens. The curry smell doesn't make it hard to breathe. Some smells do, even when they taste good. After the Feast of Blessings, Perret went over to the plaza to begin his supplication. I never thought that would be the last time I would see him. What did Maya do during the time? Or where was she? Shortly after Perret left, she went to the temple to prepare for the rite. I don't know what she did after that. I guess fucking stab my husband or something like that. What an asshole. So Acolyte Zealot went out to pray to the afternoon before his right. Or pray in the afternoon before his right. According to the paper. The day before the right, the plaza was so cold the whole place had iced over. Pray always prayed a lot. Far more than anyone else I have ever known. He was a devout young man whose faith was twice as strong as others. I don't know why, but that's kind of intimidating to me. Thought I'd made some progress by now, but I haven't come across any particularly insightful information, even here. You seem disappointed. Mrs. In Me, is there anything else you could tell me? Forgive me, but if I keep thinking about those two any longer... Bob's head? Yes, I understand. Thank you for your help. I'm sorry to have troubled you. You have not found or heard anything of particular worth. Are you ready to give up? No, I'm not calling it quits yet. Um, I think you missed something at the plaza. I, I mean, he was dun, 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 dun. examined, but maybe. Well, I think Phoenix said something about the flags, right? Maybe it's this like purple one here. That's like I. I don't think that's like. Wait. Oh, nope, that is it. Yeah, the, like, new purple one there. Okay, this prayer flag looks so. much newer than the rest. I mean, benevolence, what does it say here? The dearest wishes of our subjects are written upon these prayer flags. Reading the prayers of others is considered rude. But if you must know... It says, at the usual spot, bring grub, the key, too. Hmm, that is one of the more direct and practical prayers I have ever seen. I wonder if it's even a prayer.
That message from the prayer flag seems a little weird, but I'm not sure it's related to this case. It's related to the case, Phoenix. We have paid a visit to all of the people and places connected with this case. I think it is about time you prepared yourself for the inevitable, don't you? And it doesn't look like you have any hope of winning, Mr. Wright. Yeah, I'm, uh, I can't really say at this point. All I know is that I have to keep investigating. What are you two sneaks up to? I would advise you to get back to work if you are done here, Detective. Otherwise, I will report you to Prosecutor Samadhi for dereliction of duty. Uh, yeah. I, 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 I'm going. I'm going. I'm a, I'm a... Well, see you later, Mr. Wright, and good luck. Well, Barbed Head, is it not time to give up? No, there's still something I need to talk to first. Someone. Could it be... Maya again? Or something? Or maybe it's fucking... It's his face. Probably hey, Maya, Mia. Though. Super, do you want to do Maya since you don't really have a voice at all during this investigation section and you did her before? Maya sure looks tired. I guess that works. I'm so sorry, I mean, Maya. I, mm, like I also don't mind doing her, I just don't want you to feel left out. I don't really care. It's not a big deal for me. But... Okay. Up to you, then. Uh, I guess I'll do it. Uh, I guess I'll do Maya. Fuck. I'm sorry, too, Nick. I never meant to get caught up in this whole mess. Even worse, I got you caught up in it, too. And you were even convicted under that stupid law. Nick, you should really withdraw from this case. It's a little late. Maybe they'll even commute your sentence if you, they if you did it. <laughs> I could never abandon you like that. You might not believe me, but I'm gonna pull off a win somehow. It's not like I don't be believe in you, but it's just... Don't worry. Maybe this extra day in court's a blessing from the Holy Mother. Let's use it to our advantage. We'll turn this trial inside out and upside down. You'll see. Okay. Don't look at me with those stupid eyes. You're awfully quiet, your benevolence. You're awfully quiet, your benevolence. You're Did your benevolence quiet, your die? Benevolence. Did the benevolence die him? Your benevolence, this I, is a theater, you can't do that. I think... I think the benevolence did die. Oh. God damn, when she was in the prayer position, just fucking shanked. The prime I of guess her life. so. Jeez. Uh, oh, oh, hi, hi. Okay. You're yep. back. Hey, there was an okay. inner... Uh, I thought you guys were fucking with me. Uh, <laughs> Did, did, you, did you hear did my it, amazing joke? Uh, was it a stupid theater joke or something? Yeah. It is only a matter of time until your execution is coming up. I think you thought I had to allow you to do it. Whoa, that's some bad audio quality. Are you yeah. talking through a water bottle? <laughs> uh, I guess my internet's just being bad. Okay, now it's a little better. Sorry, but we're not giving up yet, and we won't until the bitter end. Even that incurs the tickle dimension. There's no need to put on a brave face. Your fates were sealed with today's verdict. Worry not of my affair. The Twilight Realm cleanse the taint from that neophyte practitioner's soul. Then, perhaps, the Holy Mother may finally forgive her. That's the look of a face, uh, a face of a look that needs to be forgiven. Wait. Was that her attempt at comforting me? 
barbed head. Further resistance shall come to naught. Stop your desperate struggle. Accept the judgment that has been passed upon you. She obviously doesn't know me very well. Then perhaps your sentence will be commuted. And Hold it right there, your benevolence. Why do you always have to be like that? Well, Maya, what are you... What, what, what is the matter? I was simply showing some mercy upon your souls. Nick here is risking his life to defend me. And that is why I told you it will come to naught. No, it won't. Nick is just doing what lawyers are supposed to. He's defending his client no matter what. Enough! There is no place for lawyers in the Hall of Justice! But we have the divination seance. That's failed twice. But your insights were wrong. Oof, got her. <laughs> oh boy, that's gonna hurt. Don't you get it? Errors are bound to happen if you, your insights are accepted without question. So I ask you, royal princess, priestess, whatever, same thing. <laughs> what is your true duty? Do the victim souls of the Holy Mother herself wish you to judge people in error? You dare bring her holiness's name into this? You know nothing, you, you phony baloney! You're fucking obliterated. Please, you two, enough already. Jesus. You know, as, like, mean as I've been tonight, holy shit, phony baloney? Yeah. I, I think Emily would have just ghosted us for the rest of, like, our existence if we called her that. <laughs> True. If I, if I had dared call Emma phony baloney earlier. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, just I'm just insinuating thinking... the possibility now is enough to make her hover over that <laughs> cancel button. Yeah, you know, I'm just, I'm just thinking of that Germa clip where he's, it's like, like a 2013 camera, and he's just smiling, and he's just like, baloney. It's a very good clip. It's a clip. I got a little carried away. That's not really like me, huh? <laughs> no, I should be thanking you, Maya. It's good to have you in my corner. Uh, how dare you mock me so? She will not get away with this. I was a fool to show you compassion, and to think I could convince you to accept your fate. So struggle all you want in the Hall of Justice tomorrow. You will receive your just desserts, as the scorn of our kingdom is heaped upon you. I can see straight through that contorted smile on your face, you know. Ugh, she may say these terrible things, but it's just the way she was raised, I guess. Could you try to remember what happened one more time? I've been trying as hard as I can, but I can't remember anything from the middle of the right onward. Oh, right. You suddenly felt sleepy and everything after that's a blank. Even so, I didn't kill anyone. And I'm not gonna be... And I'm not the one eh, going around dressed like Lady Kira. I'm a yam brain right now. Although, it's kind of cool to think there's a mysterious female vigilante out there. Right, yeah. Hey, wait a minute. That one line. Really? Yeah. Really, Russ? Where he says this one line. Oh, right. You... Do you think that Maya said that when she saw Phoenix? And was like, oh, right. All right, well... It's clear that Ross has yam brain too, since he thought that was funny. I didn't think that was funny at all. Are you fucking kidding me? That's all it took. There we go. I just had to get an excuse to get at least. That, that's the that's was... that's the equivalent uh, of calling Emma phony baloney. Yeah, right yeah. Well, it all piles up, you know. Were you close to accolade yeah. zealot? Um, we met several times during the meetings about the right, but I didn't know him very well. He seemed pretty quiet. Didn't you eat together the day before the right? Yeah, we ate this one super stinky dish, but it was actually really good. I wasn't sure I'd like it, 
but it was love at first bite. Like, you know the salty noodles at Eldoon's Noodles? It's like if you added garlic and herbs to that, and then let it simmer for a really long time. Sounds more like a hot pot than ramen to me at that point. <sighs> now I miss ramen too. Um, so what was Acolyte Zealots like while you were eating? He seemed to be enjoying the food. But as soon as we're done, he left to go pray. What'd you do? Oh, um, I returned to the temple to prepare for the rite. That coincides with Mrs. Immy's description of events. Any idea who might be pretending to be Lady Kira? Hmm. When the rite started, it was just me and Abbott in me. But the seance vision showed a third figure who looked like Lady Kira. I know. <sighs> Lady Kira, I wish I could have seen her in the flesh. Uh, yeah. Let's stay focused on the case, shall we? It was supposed to have been impossible for a third party to have entered the sanctum. Ah, uh, but what if she came from the sky? You know, like the bushy-bearded paratrooper. That mountain would have been no match for Lady Kira's wings. That's from the Plumbed Punisher television show, right? How did you know? And how did you mispronounce the name as Plumbed? Yeah, it's Plumed, whatever. I don't care. Because a real Lady Kira doesn't have any wings. Oh, I've got it this time. There must be a secret room with a secret door at the inner sanctum. Did you know there are 88 secret Plume Punisher bases here in Karain? Can we please stop talking about the Plume Punisher shows for a second, Maya? I guess so. Uh, keeping it real is much harder than it looks. Well, I should get going now. Sorry I wasn't any help. Yeah, don't worry. I've got this. We'll beat the charges tomorrow and be on the first plane back home before you know it. Then we'll go grab dinner at Eldoon's or your favorite burger joint. You pick. Sounds good. I think I'll get the extra large Hamburg steak topping with my on topping on my salty bowl. Best of both worlds. You can have whatever you like, but first, I have to beat the charges. Ah, oh, I almost forgot. Uh, what what is it? I have a favor to ask. Okay, but why are we whispering? I forgot I left something at the High Priest's house. It's super important. Would you mind getting and holding on to it for me? Sure. So what's the super important thing? In my bag, you'll find a folding book. It's only given to the priestess who performs the rite. It's called the Tome of Secrets. That does sound important. How could you leave something like that just lying around? That explains all the whispering. If Rafe found out, all heck would break loose. Look, Can't say all hell, lady... but then earlier in the game, Phoenix is like, God damn it! <laughs> Just slammed mm -hmm. the door. Yeah, yeah, that's right. Yeah, That's right. Look, it's got... That's you. Look, it's got Lady Kira's real name written in it, so... Oops, don't tell anyone I told you that. In fact, just forget I said anything at all. It's supposed to be a secret. Tell me a secret contains secrets? Imagine that. <laughs> hmm? What are you two mumbling about? Hmm? What are you two nothing, whispering about? Nothing, Just a silly idea, Hypne. Oh, uh, nothing. It's just she forgot something, so I told her to go get it. I'd go get it. You are up to something. I just know it. Okay, Von Karma. Thanks, Fuck Nick. you. I'm counting on you. Uh, slow motion maracas. Uh, I think we should we, we we can save here for the night. Is this where she left the thing? Yes. Yeah. Well, Ross has initiated this, but uh, <laughs> we can still save even on this screen, so it's fine. Yes. Um, I think I think we're at a good spot for coming back to it next. We'll probably have a longer session and also get to the trial next time. And also, so. it won't be three months later. Well, it feels like the yeah. investigation here is over besides picking a thing out of my bag maybe i'm wrong i, I think that's going yep. to lead to like the big meat and potatoes of it mm, could or be. maybe not uh, I don't fucking it feels know. like it feels like we already have like a lot of the evidence is still in our bag we only tossed a few things actually um yeah. 
So it would we have plenty of evidence. A little something about this second death, but I guess the second death isn't that much crazier than the first death. It's not going to bring us to like eighteen new areas, but maybe like um, one or two. But well, one thing I, I will say about this case, by the way, um, because this is one that after the fact I said was like one of my favorites. It is good to rewatch. It it is one of those that is like good on the rewatch. That's neat. Yeah. Because right now it's it's okay. Yeah, it, 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 I, I would, like, when I was this far in, I was like, okay, that's a cool twist where there's a second murder, but other than that, it's just alright. Um, but yeah. So far, I'm noticing that the fact that Phoenix has been declared guilty has really had no implications, really, if they just said they extended it to the next day. Like, I guess the writing can be a little bit different as a result, but Yeah, no, it, it's, it's, it's a, it's a writing thing. There's no gameplay implications, which I felt like there could have been more. Yeah, yeah. But... I understand that. That's I don't know. I don't, like, what could they really have changed? Had to, like the fucking bailiffs with guns following you as well? I don't know. Um, because if he's K being would allowed, have had like... to sneak into the prison, and you would have to little thief all these areas instead. <laughs> I mean, I mean, yeah. If they had K Faraday in this game, then you know that's one thing. But why don't they? Zero well, that's what game. I'm saying. But like. They're not gonna listen. They don't. They won't bring fucking von Karma back. They're not gonna bring Kate Faraday back. Uh, well, they brought von Karma back a couple times, so maybe they'll bring K back. You know, more than one. Well, actually, I guess she's probably in investigations too. She's probably in investigations too. Also, Phoenix doesn't even know K. <laughs> so. Well, but in the fanfic I've read, him and Trucy Wright are um are are Phoenix and Edgeworth's adopted daughters, so they actually are very familiar with each other. Did you actually read a fanfic like that? I I have not, but I would if I've accidentally found it. <laughs> uh, why don't we go look it up? You gotta find some weird shit. Yeah, I will. Uh, Phoenix, Edgeworth. Family fan fiction. Fan fiction. Miles Edgeworth Jackson. Turnabout <laughs> family. Chapter one. Edgeworth inclined his head towards the stairs, annoyance curling his lips into a frown, and he started the short trip to the second floor. Hmm. Rain. How perfectly ironic. All right, where, where does the sex happen? If I can, ha no, that's ridiculous. If I can handle adults, I can handle children. What okay, the fuck? and that's what where we fuck? end. That's where no. we end. He really no. wants. I, I was joking about the Pee Wee Herman thing, but <laughs> however, as he followed Arthur out of the apartment, Edward no, 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 noted no, with no, no small no, amount of no, unease no, that no, Gumshoe had yet to stop laughing. Perhaps I've bitten off more than I can chew. Okay. Okay, we're done. Any final thoughts? Um, I'm glad we're doing this game again. Yeah.